kids i know you all are enjoying the vacations bus studies are must know that is why i shraddha shukla am here to introduce the very first chapter of your sst textbook and that is early humans okay so students you must have heard so many student uh, stories from your grandparents and your great grandparents if you are the lucky ones about their lifestyles their clothes their food and everything but don't you find it more interesting if you get to know about your ancestors who lived thousands of years ago well i know your answer it is interesting and that is why i am here to tell you about all those wonder wonderful things that our ancestors did first of all let me tell you our ancestors were very very different from us very different okay and this difference occurred due to the environmental and climatic changes occurred at that time okay and this difference is known as the evolution the evolution of human the difference between our ancestors and us is known as evolution okay now let me tell you uh, ancestor is a general word in historical terms we are going to use the term prehistoric men instead of ancestors okay so the hominids are the prehistoric men the prehistoric men were known as hominids okay now these were our ancestors so we can call our ancestors the hominids now these lived on the earth 4 millions of years ago what i'm telling you 4 millions of years ago okay now their remains have been found in africa okay and their structure was similar to the chimpanzees and the gorillas found in africa as well as in south asia so their remains were found remains were found in africa and the structures was similar to the gorillas of africa chimpanzees and gorillas okay of africa and south asia now we are going to talk about um the types of hominids okay they uh, there are three types of hominids identified till now and those types are number 1 homo habilis homo habilis number 2 is homo erectus and number 3 is homo sapiens the descriptive uh, discussion on these three is not important so we are going to study about them in very brief okay so uh, let me start with the first topic and that is homo habilis uh, i think i should start it from here okay so first is homo habilis okay these human species were living in groups they lived in groups and they started making tools for chopping cutting and breaking okay they also used the tools for their protection okay so first point i'm going to write about homo habilis are that they lived in groups in groups and why were they living in groups because they wanted protection for protection and for easy hunting easy hunting okay and the second point i'm going to write is they started making tools so they started 
making tools for chopping cutting and breaking but let me tell you these tools were not that good uh, but with the passage of time the human species developed some modified version of those tools okay now i'm going to discuss the second type homo habilis okay so now i'm going to discuss the second topic and that is homo erectus the other name of this human species is the upright man okay their other name is the upright man what is the re reason behind this name the reason behind this name is they walked erect on their feet okay now they also made tools which were much better than homo habilis okay their tools were better than homo habilis the third and very important point is they learn how to make fire okay and used it for cooking to keep themselves warm wait okay to keep themselves warm and to protect themselves from animals okay this is a very important invention done by homo erectus okay now let's move to the other topic and that is the homo sapiens okay okay so now i'm going to discuss the third type of hominids and that is homo sapiens okay these these are the only human species surviving on the earth till now okay now so you can write down the first point only human species only human species surviving on the earth till now okay and the second point is they started producing their food and settling down okay so they started producing their food and settling down okay <coughs> okay i am going to underline this thing please remember this thing producing their food that means they invented agriculture okay the invention of fire was done by homo erectus and the invention of agriculture was done by homo sapiens they started producing their food and at the same time they started settling down okay now i am going to discuss the topic neanderthals okay neanderthals their other name was the wise men i'll tell you the reason behind this name but before that let me tell you they lived on this earth 1 lakh 40000 of years ago okay 
and their remains have been found in Neander Valley, Germany. That is why they've got the name Neanderthals. Okay, remains have been found. in Neander Valley Germany hence got the name okay now they were tall strong and their brain was very well developed this is the reason they've got the name wise men okay so they were tall tall strong and had well developed brain and hence they've got the name the wise men okay one thing they've invented that was burying their dead ones okay they've started burying their dead ones now since neanderthals were found uh, living during ice age and that uh, climatic conditions was uh, very uh, harsh and that is why they could not survive and got extinct okay now i'm going to discuss our today's last topic and that is crow magnets okay okay so the last topic is crow magnets their other name is the modern men they lived on the earth 40000 years ago and their remains have been found mostly in asia found mostly in asia and europe okay the other name of this human species is hunter gatherer other name is hunter gatherers okay they keep hunting and gathering their food okay now the important invention done by this human species is painting they started painting their daily activity activities on the walls of the caves okay so they've started painting their daily activities activities of the caves okay guys so this is our last topic for today's class um the further details we will discuss in the next class till uh, then you can ask me any questions on whatsapp and please stay safe stay home okay